Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is G Martin and today we are talking all about the Backfire Mini. Now the Backfire Mini, I picked it up I want to say about two months ago and it's been one of the best purchases I've ever made. I mean I absolutely love this board. So I picked up the Backfire Mini off of Backfire USA. Uh, it was 700 but they had it on sale for uh, 600 and I used a coupon code for $30 so I ended up getting it for 570 and it normally retails for 700 I mean backfire they do run a lot of sales so if you're interested in buying one be on the lookout for that because they have sales I want to say multiple times a year and it's super easy to just hop in there and buy a board for like $200 less than you know the retail price so. but anyways back to the backfire mini uh, the wheels it has 86 millimeter wheels uh, it goes over most bumps, most cracks, but I'm not gonna lie, you do feel them. Like, if you're going down a road and you see something that doesn't look like it's gonna be bumpy, just bend your knees a little bit, otherwise you're gonna hit it and you're gonna feel it, you're not gonna like it. But yeah, it's kind of a rough ride, especially because the body of it is carbon fiber. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a pretty stiff deck, it doesn't flex at all. Next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the weight of the Backfire Mini. Uh, it is 12.8 pounds, which is incredibly light for an electric board. For those of you who don't know, most boards are between the 15 to 18 pound range, and the Backfire Mini is 3 pounds less than that. It's one of the lightest boards out there on the market. Top speed on the Backfire Mini is 26 miles an hour, and I can vouch that is true. I've done it multiple times on this board. Uh, another thing, make sure you wear a helmet, because this is a pretty narrow board. I'm sorry, in some of the videos on here I didn't wear a helmet but I've been riding boards for a long time, and yeah, I should have worn a helmet, but I didn't, didn't have it on me. The charge time on the Backfire Mini is roughly an hour and a half from what I've seen. I haven't ridden it to complete empty yet. Normally I'll come back and I'll have two out of five bars or one out of five bars left, but yeah, it charges pretty quick, hour and a half I'd say. So if you go on a short ride, only use half your battery, it takes less than an hour to charge it back up to full, which is extremely nice, especially if you're doing rides. Speaking of rides, shout out to the Eastgate group down at the University of Cincinnati. You guys are awesome. Uh, I love riding with you and I can't wait for coronavirus to be done with so we can get back on these rides again. Okay, now I have some footage that I took yesterday. Uh, it's basically acceleration and braking tests for the two modes on this board. The first one is eco mode and the second one is sport mode. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to play those now so you can see them. In the eco mode, the acceleration is way less compared to the sport mode. And in terms of braking, it's the same story. Uh, braking in the sport mode is way more touchy than braking in eco mode. Here's a good time to mention that the top speed in eco mode on this board is 17 kilometers an hour, which is roughly around 11, 12 miles an hour. And if you kick it into sport mode, the top speed is 42 kilometers an hour, which is 26 miles an hour, if I'm not mistaken. Another point about this board is the battery sag is extremely low. So basically what that means is you'll go through half your battery and most of your acceleration in terms of when you're like giving it throttle, it's almost the same as when you just started riding the board with a full battery. And that's what I like about this board. My Team G did the opposite. I would ride it and it would hit about three quarters battery and out of nowhere, the acceleration, it would just be gone. It didn't have it. And I didn't like it because that it was, really a pain in the butt so now one thing i did want to mention on this board because it's so rough i really wish backfire would create a softer but bigger wheel version for the backfire mini because this board is incredibly fun it's small factor basically means you can carry it anywhere and riding it around it's super agile it has a kicktail on it so you can turn on a dime if you need to This is the end of my first video back. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about the Backfire Mini. If you wouldn't mind, please consider subscribing. My channel is at a very small point right now, and the more subscribers I can get, it'll help me build my audience. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos, I really do. In fact, I want you to comment down below any ideas 
of videos you would like me to make in the next few months because I'm back at home for school because coronavirus, just like every other college student in America right now. But yeah, I'm back at home. I have some more spare time so I can make some more videos. So if you want to see 3D printing videos, I don't know, board videos, drone videos, and maybe it's not one of those three. Maybe it's something random. Please feel free and drop it down below. But I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay safe. And yeah, see you in the next one.